Today, I'm gonna show you how to crop your videos in Premiere Pro. And then at the very end, I'm gonna show you some creative ways that you can get the most out of this. But right off the bat, if you wanna crop your video, all you have to do is highlight your footage and go up to Effect Controls. And if you can't find that, just go up to Window, Effect Controls. Now here you should see that under your video properties, you have crop values here. And if you don't see this, then it just probably means you're running an older version of Premiere Pro. So you can go to the Effects panel, search for Crop, and add it this way, and you'll still be able to follow the rest of this tutorial. Now all you have to do is click and drag these sliders for top, bottom, left, and right values, and your video will start to crop from each of these different starting points. And if it's more intuitive for you, you can also go down here and choose the direction manipulation feature, and when you click it, you can select crop instead. Now you can click and drag the boundaries of your footage to get the same result. Doing this will also give you the ability to hold down shift, and then when you move any crop boundaries, everything moves together proportionally. That looks great, but you might have noticed that if you crop your footage, you've still got black where the footage used to be. And that's because you're not actually changing the aspect ratio of the video you're creating just for that one clip on your timeline. Cropping in Premiere Pro is not like cropping in Photoshop. It doesn't actually change the overall canvas that you're working with. So placing down anything behind this footage will still allow you to see behind it. So if you just wanted to see a smaller portion of your clip, but within the same aspect ratio, like for example, if I wanted to crop out this section to avoid seeing all these dangling wires here, instead of cropping, just increase the scale of your clip and then move the position to resize your clip the way you like. And if you really wanted to change the aspect ratio of your entire video, more of what cropping in Photoshop is like, you can do that by going up to sequence, sequence settings and then changing the aspect ratio here. But okay, now that you know how to crop your videos in Premiere, let's go over some creative ways that you can actually use this knowledge in your videos. First way is that you can actually change how much your footage is cropped over time. And the reason to do that is to create a custom wipe transition. Keyframe your crop to create a starting point, then move forward about a second and increase it all the way to 100%. Now you've got a wipe transition, and if you wanted to give it a little extra smooth animation, you can add an easy ease to both of these keyframes and adjust the graph value here. And if you wanted more smooth animation tips in Premiere, I've got a whole video just on that linked in the description. You can also use the crop effect to create a custom picture in picture effect. Just crop down so only your head is visible in the shot, then scale down and move the position of your clip to the corner using your position controls. Then whenever you put a piece of footage underneath, it looks like you're talking about whatever it is that you're showing. And you can spice it up by quickly adding a square underneath with your shape tool, changing the color to something like white, and then adding a drop shadow. And there you have a custom professional looking picture in picture effect. And let me know if you want a full in-depth tutorial on how to create some of my favorite picture in picture effects. You can also use cropping to create a custom split screen effect, or you can use it to turn motion graphics into the border of the picture in picture effect that we just created. Or you could even start with it already cropped all the way in and then slowly reveal it over time. This is great for things like a progress loading bar. And I've even seen people on YouTube use this to showcase when an ad is happening and signal to the audience when it's going to stop. And then lastly, you can create a custom complex cropping in a way by doing what's called masking. Really, it's a similar principle to cropping, just in a way that's incredibly customizable where you can essentially draw or place a shape to cut out your footage. If you wanted a full tutorial on masking, let me know in the comments, but if you found this helpful, subscribe and check out this video for even more Premiere Pro tips.